What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I wanted to show you what a DCL combat loop is because when I ordered this, I didn't really have a good understanding of it. I'm glad I got this, but I wanted to give you a really thorough look at it. So if you're thinking about getting this particular type of belt loop on your next accessory, then you should know what it includes. And first of all, I will say it seems to be all polymer. It's really nicely made. It's actually quite a bit bigger than a lot of other belt loops, and that's because of how robust it is and the functionality. So I would say this is just like any other combat plastic polymer it seems really robust as you can see right here i mean the thickness of the loop itself while it gets a little thinner inside because it has a little bit of a curve or radius to fit your hip there uh, on the outside here that's like three and a half almost four millimeters so that is really really thick as you can see you can mount it to pretty much anything including kydex uh, this holster here for magazines is totally irrelevant it can go on to anything but as you can see here it's hinged but what's really interesting about this is that it works a little bit like a door so it has this button here and if i push this button i want to show you that this whole bottom piece here pushes in you can see that whole thing pushes in right and so that is the button to release it and when you release it you release that little bar that's holding the bottom of the door in place so you can see the little barb there it'll hook onto this little bar there and then once it's on there it will not come off which is really cool and then when you push it it'll just open up like this all right now you know how that it releases you can see here how it will attach to whatever accessory you're going to mount it to just screws like that now you also have these little bars in here and this is where this little ladder like punch out comes into play because you can move these to fit your particular belt now this is just a little bit small for my particular belt so to remove this you can just grab a screwdriver i've got a flathead right here but if i just push through there you can see that just pops out now what i can do is i can use the little shelf right there to hold this on my belt so if i were to put this on my belt now just like that now you can see that is a really good fit all right now the last thing i want to show you about this is when you close it you also have this little slider here and now it says off and on and what i would rather it say is lock and unlock because if I push it to on like this, on this side, now I can open this up. But if I close this up and I push it to off like this, if I push here, you can see it will not open up. So it's just a nice little piece of reassurance that this sucker is not going to come off, especially if you are active, if you're rolling around, you know, you're maybe bumping up against things. To get this off, you have to be really diligent about pushing that forward and then releasing it like this. And the cool thing about this though, even if it's locked, you can push it push that up and open this up and remove this all one-handed which is nice so if you have an incapacitated hand on one side you can get this off but i really like this it's the first time i've had this dcl combat loop and i think it's pretty impressive if you want to pick up this to install on your accessories i'll put a link to them in the description below peter von panda out